What's going on, TC? What's going on, ball fans? You wouldn't think that's Florida week. I mean, was that Oregon loss so demoralizing, guys? I mean, come on. Yeah, we lost the number two team in the country. Well, guess what? This week we got the number 19 team in the country. And we should just judge ourselves off. You know? Dust that dirt off our pants. Off our bottom. And go out there and try to kick some gator ass. You know, the gator poo comes out. Pretty much says this isn't a rivalry anymore. I would love to make it different for him. Because... I believe it's still a rivalry. I still think deep down, you assholes hate us as much as we hate you. And I don't mean calling Gator Boone asshole. I'm calling the Florida fan base in general are a bunch of jerks. Pee throwing, spitting at little kids, horrible fan base. I mean, I understand it's the SEC, I understand it's passion and everything, but I mean, Clay Travis, who I disagree with a lot of things, calls you the worst fan base in the country. He really means that crap. He's not trying to egg us on like when he tries to egg us on. He's being completely honest as a Vanderbilt fan. Hating you guys. And it's kind of justified. Who the hell throws piss? Come on. I thought we were above freaking primate freaking feces throwing. Come on. I guess not Florida. You know, yes, has Tennessee kind of ruined this rivalry? Yeah, we kind of have. I mean, Fulmer showed to have an inability to beat you guys. He had an inability to, to, to beat a lot of people at the end of his career. Kiffin didn't, couldn't do it. And Dooley sure as hell couldn't do that shit, but he was also playing his best buddy, but best old pal, Will Muschamp. The angry Kermergent himself. The incredible Hulk, Blue Ferrigno, freaking wannabe looking motherfucker that is known as Will Muschamp. Who's gonna blow a gasket. He's gonna have a heart attack on the field one of these days. But we're all gonna be live and, live and watching him freaking have a heart attack midfield and, I, and it's not even funny that dude overworks himself to an incredible amount I mean is Florida that stressful I mean is Florida I mean being the coach the head coach of the University of Florida that hard on you that you have I mean you have to fake illnesses to quit with dignity I mean, I understand Urban Meyer left because of a broken heart, but he gave out the weakest excuse just to be back two years later at Ohio State. I mean, come on, man. And seriously. You know, you have... You know, your alumnus of right now are not looking too good, Florida. But... To be honest, at least you, you're putting players constantly in the league. You guys are at least going to BCS games. You're at least going to bowl games. But damn it, it stops here. Your streak against us stops this weekend. It stops at your house. It stops with your terrible offense. I'm just hoping that our offense can at least move the ball once. I mean, Florida has shown on offense to not be a juggernaut, which at least gives Tennessee a chance. As long as you don't turn the ball over, which it's the Tennessee-Florida game, which is probably going to happen, with a probably going to be a new quarterback, which is exciting. And our and can our can defense, can the Tennessee defense, as I'm stuttering, which is going to be on Gator Boo's freaking montage, can the offense not turn the ball over? Because the key, one of the keys of the game is going to be, can Tennessee make Florida drive the length of the field all the time? That was the one thing Tennessee did well enough 
was that they only turned the ball over once. Now, granted, luckily, it didn't hurt them. It was the driving down the field part, but that was Oregon. Oregon's a different animal than Florida. You know, uh, I don't know the complete status of, of the whole Florida team, but I think Driscoll's still banged up. I think you're, I still believe your running back's still banged up. Your offensive line was pretty porous against Miami, which was your last, you know, your only competition this year. Which could be said to say that Tennessee, the only time Tennessee played anybody legit, they got blown the hell out. So, you know, this game can either go one way, or one or two ways. Either Florida stomps their guts out, or Tennessee plays them really close, and at that point, God knows what's going to happen. You know, Tennessee had Florida on the ropes last year, and somehow, some way, by the divine Derek Dooley logic, we let you guys back in the game through special teams errors. Which is funny because I thought Derek Dooley was a special teams coach. Who knew? Anyway, this rivalry used to mean something. Now this rivalry is just another SC East game. And I do blame us. I blame the University of Tennessee for, and I blame Mike Hamilton and all the crappy administrative restrictions that are put on this or that put on this campus. It's embarrassing to have that type of a football team out there. At least we've got a coach now. But damn it, I hate losing to Florida. You know, I tolerate losing to Alabama most of the times because it's Alabama. I mean, there's really nothing you can say about it. They're the number one team in the country, you know, and that rivalry's been game and take sometimes. But damn it, I hate losing to Florida. I hate it with every fiber of my being. I hate the colors. I hate the gator chop. I hate all that crap. I blame you, Florida, for me not enjoying the San Jose Sharks power play freaking shark chop. I really do. I hate every damn thing about that university. I hate shorts. I hate muscle shirts. I hate all of it. I hate Crocs. I hate every dang thing it seems like the University of Florida is all about. I drink Powerade. I don't even drink Gatorade because it has that crap in it. I'll drink Powerade happily. I'll drink all sport before I drink freaking Gatorade. I'll drink water. You're drinking the wrong water if you're drinking Gatorade, Vols fans. And how in the hell Gatorade sponsoring the damn football team is a travesty. It's a damn shame. God, I hate Florida. I don't know why. I like Spurrier. Spurrier is a funny type of annoying. You know, he annoys the crap out of you, but at least you can laugh about it and go, ha ha, it's, it's a ball coach. Yeah. What do you expect? It's a fucking ball coach. But damn it, ACB card, where's your, where's your freaking Gator hate? I don't know what Vols Fan 88, I, I, I don't know, he, I asked him for a link for his page, so please Vols Fan 88, please link me your new page. So I can sub you up. So I can at least, hopefully, there's a Gator hate there. Because the Gator fans aren't even caring about this. So how are the Gator fans supposed to get up and get pissed off because we're freaking swarming back at them? If they don't think to swarm. Come on, Vols fans. One loss making you that apathetic already? Sweet Jesus Christ. Why is it that just because we've been losing means that you gotta pack up and quit the next time we lose with a new coach? What did you expect to happen in Oregon? They're the number two team in the country. You're a new coach on the first road game with an unproven quarterback and an unproven wide receiving core and a young defense. 
What did you expect to come out there? Oregon roll out the red fucking carpet? Georgia's, uh, Florida's a new fucking game. It's a new fucking week. Wake the hell up. Wake up, Tennessee. Go beat them damn Gators.